Hi. I'm James. And I don't know what I'm doing. So what are you trying to do now? We are trying to get this caliber off and the bracket off, the hose pads in. We're going to try to change the pads and uh, change the hardware. But yeah, there are two bolts holding in the caliber and uh, two bolts holding in the bracket. And, um, and yeah, we're going to take those off get rid of these because if these are too smooth I know for a fact in the past they'll make noise so in the past themselves the back one looks like it's worn more than the front so the hardware could be sticking so we're going to try to get these off and uh, try to go ahead and change these That's the bottom one. I almost all lost my bolts for a minute. Okay. And your caliper should slide straight out. Like that. kind of because you don't want to put any stress on that brake line so up under here yeah just put it back where it gets propped up it's not putting that much stress on that brake line back here it's going to it and then we could try to work on i'm gonna probably hang this up over this but we're going to remove these back two bolts back here is going to remove this bracket and we can take these pads out see what shape they're in clean them up they're dirty. They are dirty. We're going to try to break these loose. And we'll get right back with you. So, when it's facing you, it's the opposite. You're facing first. So, the loosen it to go to the right. Mm -hmm. Tighten it. Go back this way. Okay, that was that one. So now, we gotta just break the top of these. Oh, we got the bracket loose. The bracket's loose. Once again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just basing this off of research and me doing brakes on an older car that's a whole nother brand I feel like it should be rel relatively the same so these screws still need to take some time to pee. we're gonna get these screws all the way out and get the bracket off man my arm hurt <laughs> Feels like you left the house and I'm having a, a personal session with a mean thing of jerkies right now. <sighs> Alright, we got the bracket on. And this should be the same for a charger, but look, it has 
a good bit of meat on them. We got some new ones and we got some grease. I'm gonna get the grease and I'm gonna get the spray. I'm gonna spray everything down and we're gonna just change these out. When I tell you they squeak bad, I feel like I could get by with this. But I got some I got some really, really good pads in there. And uh you should go ahead and change them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and change them while I got them off. And we're gonna get rid of this because like I said, if this is smooth, it'll it'll squeak extremely loud. You can spray brake clean on it, it might get you by for so long. So while everything's off, let's check everything. Like I said, new car shouldn't be too bad. And behind here, if you can see it, are your springs and so on and so forth for your emergency brake. So it's good to spray these down, clean all up in here. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a uh, scrub brush or a wire brush. I don't know why I did with them. Forgive me. Um, but we're gonna, I'm gonna get the brakes and the new rotors and stuff and uh, we're gonna spray them down too and make sure that surface is cleaned up clean off the hands and um then we're gonna get all that put on put this back on get that button up and uh get Zan to help me bleed these bricks so we'll be back with those parts right here all right we got our Great Clean Pro Series, and this by itself sometimes will stop the squeaking if you're squeaking. Just stick it inside the wheel, like the best way you can, aim it at your brake parts, and hit it if you don't feel like taking all this apart. But it's fine, just uh, don't get discouraged, like how I am right now. But just uh, spray everything down, try not to get sprayed in your eye. There we go. I don't have, uh, that's pretty smooth. So the new rotor can sit on a nice flat surface. Okay. We got one more. Look at that. Here is our new rotor. And this is a plain one. I got the drill and slotted in the front. So I think I might go with the uh, drill and slot again later on. But this is just for right now because the brakes were getting on my nerves. Well, I am proud of you. For working on your car. Because usually you take it to other people to have them work on it because you don't want to deal with it. Yes. I don't want to deal with it because I, I'm one of those that gets easily frustrated. Exactly. So, it's a. Uh, these feel way better. Yeah, this they is look a, better. It yeah, is how it's supposed to Something that's not too too rough and I mean something that's not too smooth and your brakes could slide on real easy. So I'm just wiping whatever residue was on them off. And uh we're gonna put these on now. I can't find the hole. Okay. There we go. That's on. All right. Got that on. So now let's take attention to these. So, okay, those are gonna go like that in there. So let's take out one of these. At the same points. 
and stuff. But I guess these are what you put on from the factory. I don't, I'm not for sure. These, you can tell they're aftermarket. I guess, I don't know if the aftermarket has the slot in the middle. But, I mean, it, it, this still has a good bit of meat on them. And I, they're both uh, the same kind of pad, I think. But, um, this is incredible sweet. Um, but, yeah, we're going to change all this up. I got it, the grease where it needs to be. So, at this point, that's cleaned off. It's lubed up. And, uh, got that back on. So, now, we're going to go back here. And we're going to, what's Oh. Alright. We are back. And... I'm just finishing, trying to button up, tighten these back bolts down that's holding the bracket to this. Put it on my little car to get leverage. I, I got a swivel head in my car. Make sure we did. That's gonna come in handy because I could have swiveled that long one out. So, but yeah, we're just tightening up this and then we'll put back in the other bolts that's going to hold the uh, piston to the uh, back to, to the bracket. We're going to make sure we put that, uh, that thread locker on this. So, yeah, I'm going to get done tightening this up. Then we're going to put that on there. Push thread locker. Ah, it'll keep your, for y'all that don't know, thread locker, it keeps your bolts from, from backing out. So we're just making sure these are good and tight. Right here. Ugh. Make sure. Okay. Those are good and tight. Uh, let me get the thread locker, put those on, and right back. All right. Now we bred the plate. But bread. Bled. Wait. Bred the plates. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, we bled the brakes. <laughs> And um, the nipple is just right back here on... It's called the nipple? Yeah. The nipple is right here on the back. And you're going to loosen... You're going to... Soon as she press down on it, I break it open. And it shot out. And as soon as it got done shooting out, I, I closed it back immediately. And uh, you could do this once or twice more if you want but that was fine and shot out right down there so the old heads were kind of right so it must have been a good bit in there i'm gonna end up doing all of them at four corners at some point but right now we're just doing this back one right here and we're gonna do the other side after a while um but i just wanted to show you all how to do this right here because uh it's not the hardest thing in the world to do and um, it helped me out with my stress, so it was it, 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 it was a well worth it kind of thing to do on your own. So if you got a little bit of spare time, you too can change your own brakes. It doesn't take nothing, a few minutes, a couple simple tools, some brake cleaners, some grease, some new material and hardware. And you're good for both of these rear and, and the price. That's what we can break down right now for everything. While I got you all right here. Um, the price for the rollers, for both rear rollers from rockauto.com were uh, $90. $90 for both. You go to the parts store, they want to charge you 80 for just one. So I said, no, I'm not going to do that. That's stupid. So Rock Auto hooked me up with two uh 
for the price of one. The pads and the hardware that came with them were um, for 40, around 40 bucks for those. And this was like, uh, I think $9 or eight, eight or $9. This was around six or seven. But that, it's just a few dollars for these little things. I mean, you can do them yourself on a nice day like today. Nice and breezy, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's perfect. I hate to be a person to change brakes in the cold. So your, your uh your tightener, your lock stuff, how much was that? Well the lock tight, oh the lock tight was only six dollars. Six dollars. I got this from Walmart. And uh that's all you need. Something to make sure your bolts don't back out, they don't shoot at you, or shoot at anybody else. Um you do the same thing with your uh with your spark plugs. You don't want them to shoot out from the the hood. So and uh C clamp was just a few dollars. So yeah, it, it didn't take much. It didn't take much at all. Uh extended ratchet to help me break loose, uh to help me break loose some stuff. I need some extra leverage. This was like probably the most expensive thing. It was like uh, $28, 26 to $28. So, but it was well worth it. It helped me break stuff loose. It didn't give me the hard time like most folks would have, but they would put the short ratchet up on there and get a hammer and beat it until they break it loose. No, just get what you need the first time. You won't struggle. So that's about it. After that, I'm gonna put this tire back on. And that's all, but please, Y'all help out the channel, subscribe to the channel. But yeah, if you could like, share, and subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload me not knowing exactly what I'm doing. So that will help me out a tremendous bit. And don't be discouraged, get outside, do it yourself, and you'll be surprised at how good of a job you've done. So y'all stay good, stay blessed.